TEDxers. This is Emily from the TEDx Post Event team. Um, congratulations on your recent event. Today I'm going to show you how to upload photos to Flickr and um, enter the appropriate tags and make sure you have your photos under the appropriate copyright license. Uh, first, before we get started, I want you to make sure that you have a copy of your release form signed by the event photographer. It's going to look like this. Um, this form just states that the photographer grants TED the right to use or share their photos for promotional purposes. It also says that the photos should be posted on Flickr under a Creative Commons license so that they can be shared freely, just like TED Talks. Um, we just need you to hold on to that form for now, and if we really like one of your photos and want to use it for promotional materials or something like that, then we'll reach out to you and, and request it. Um, okay, so in order to upload your photos, you should have set up a Flickr account for your TEDx event. Um, I, we recommend that you do this instead of uploading them under your own personal account, uh, just so we can have them all organized in one place. So. You may have hundreds or maybe even thousands of photos, and the free Flickr accounts, um, the maximum number of photos you can upload is around 200. So what I would recommend you do is, before you get started on this, make sure you have just a nice solid batch of, you know, it, just, just the best photos. Um, try and keep it under 200, and you'll want to have a wide variety of shots. So we're looking for pictures of your speakers, um, of the venue, of your organizing team, some shots of the audience, maybe even the swag or the food, or um, if you have cupcakes, we have a TEDx cupcakes folder on our Facebook page that you can contribute to. So I just have a couple of photos I'm going to upload here from um, TED Global in 2012. Now, what you need to make sure that you do is add tags. The appropriate tags for you guys to add is gonna, are going to be TEDx, and then you're going to do comma, space, and then add another one so you can do your event name. This event is called TED Global. You could do things like the year or um, the city. And you'll also want to include your photographer's name. So these were photographed by Brett Hartman. And if you have um, photos of your speakers or something like that, then you want to enter those too. So then um, one of the most important things when uploading your Flickr photos is to remember to post them under a Creative Commons license. Now, this license that we use, um, it's called Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives. So this means that um, the photos can be shared freely around the world, just like TED Talks. But if somebody shares them, they're going to have to um, credit the photographer. They can't use it for any commercial purposes. And they can't crop or edit the photos. They just have to share them the way that they are. OK, and we're going to check and make sure it says visible to everyone. It's publicly searchable. And we're going to go over here to the right, select Upload Photos. Now, if you have a lot of photos, one thing you might want to do is create sets to have them organized, maybe by each event that you host, or um, if you have tons and tons of photos, you could organize them by um, maybe like just behind the scenes or you know shots of, from the stage, or you could group them by different photographers, whatever you think works for you guys. So in order to do that, you're going to go under You, select Organize. And I'm going to select all of these and drag them in. And I'm going to add to a set. So I'm going to create a new set called TED Global 2012. And I'll put a little, a little bit about it in there. So you can say, um, Xers hiking in. So these are just different folders that would allow you to organize your photos so that they're more easily searchable on your Flickr page. Um, so if you guys have any questions about uploading Flickr photos, um, you can Google search TEDx rules, and here are the directions, and you can send us an email. Thanks so much. Bye.